So here we have a Kalel, the quad core. Uh, it's a quad core CPU by Nvidia. This is the next generation. Uh, you can see here it can do ultra HD, crazy extreme HD. 12. Uh, I cannot. It's not even 12. It's like twice as much. Huge amounts of resolution, and uh, it's running Honeycomb right now. So it's, a, it's kind of a sample CPU. It's not really. Um, it's not. Ooh, I'm sorry. Is it still working? Should I put it back? It's okay. So it's a, it's a sample CPU. It's not um, it's not a finalized CPU. It's going to take a few more months. Last time they said in Mobile World Congress could be August before it's ready and actually launching and all that. So it's still a prototype because they call it the T30, and it's uh, it needs to be optimized before it can be. There's a special connector here for the power. Oh, I'll leave it here for a second. So let's try to go into some kind of demo here. There's a demo with some, some extreme, and this is actually real rendering of some 3D stuff going on. I can move the camera while it happens, while it does it, so it's just to prove that it's real 3D action stuff. So this is for sure going to be at least as powerful as the PlayStation 3. Uh, this could be the chip in the next Wii 2 process uh, CPU, uh, in the next Wii 2 console, maybe next week they will announce uh, Tegra 3 Wii 2, maybe, maybe not. But uh, in theory, this is the fastest graphics you've ever seen in an ARM powered device. This is the fastest actual ARM CPU ever shown. Uh, quad core, it means if you have an app that's optimized for, for uh, several. Um, Using all the threads, using all four threads, then uh, it's really gonna be gonna, sh it's gonna be advanced, gonna be fast. It's going here. Windmill. It's windmill gonna be the first real time term on handheld. Windmill for Kalel. Oh, maybe wait. No, it's not gonna work. Let's, let's try it. Gallery. It's gonna play some uh, ultra high, high definition, maybe sample. Video it might be a ultra high, high definition video here. And, um, well, expect all the HDMI, all this stuff as well. And expect all the big companies to actually release devices like this. What more can we find here? Version 4.0 of Android? No, it's not. Still in the UK? Did I click on that already? Alright. So that was a Kalel here from Computex 2011. Exclusive for Fandroid.com. So here's a 3D ball game on the Kalel. So you can actually uh, do stuff with the game. You can, that's actually like this. Well, it's, uh, you know, like. Uh, you have to hold it. Uh, I don't want to break this. There's an accelerometer inside. Like here. It goes in here somewhere. And this is the most advanced uh, 3D ball game ever. You go in here, and you go around, and you fall out. Well, that's a really advanced 3D ball game. Here we have a windmill test. You can set the cartoon effect like here. Or put it back to realistic. And the snow, you can have snow. Draw it. Pavement, more or less pavement. And then what you do is, when you get into closer to it, no. Just some, uh, showing that it's rendering a windmill in real time. Like the full details of the whole thing here. It's probably a 1280 by 800 screen. It's not more than that. It's pretty old already. There you have it, the Kalel.